Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of linear functions, specifically how we can find the domain and range of these linear functions, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we see a little portion of a coordinate plane here, and we see a ray. So we've got this endpoint right here, and if we wanted to graph that, it looks like it's got an x value of 2 and a y value of 4. So we've got that one point, 2, 4, and then it just goes on forever. Okay. So how could we find the domain and the range of this ray uh, that represents a linear function? Well, the domain here is the set of all possible independent variable values. Now we've been looking at dependent and independent variables since middle school here, the beginning of middle school. But in short, our domain, independent variables, those are just going to be your x values. So if we wanted to represent this with an inequality, we can say, what are all the x values? Well, it starts at 2, right? And then it moves to the right. And if you see, we've got this, this arrow up here, which means it just goes on forever. It never stops. So it's never going to stop. So it's going to be greater than 2. So anything that's greater than 2 is going to be in the domain because the x continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It never gets less than 2. Since this is a closed circle, we actually need to make this greater than or equal to 2 because we're going to include 2 in the domain set. If it was an open circle, then we wouldn't. We would just say greater than 2. And we're going to kind of do the same thing for our range. Right, so our range, the set of all possible dependent variable values, but since the beginning of middle school, we've known that the dependent variables are basically the y's. So what are the y's? Well, it is going to be a greater than or equal to because it is a closed circle. And we're starting at 4, and now we're looking up. We're not necessarily looking side to side, and it just goes up, and it never stops. So our domain is... Anything greater than or equal to 2, our range is anything greater than or equal to 4. Now, we can also represent this with words. Sometimes we'll need to, instead of these inequalities here, we'll need to just write them out. So the domain is all real numbers greater than or equal to 2, which is what we have right here. The range is all real numbers greater than or equal to 4, which is what we have right there. Let's look at another example. Again, we are looking for the domain and range, but now we have a different type. We've got a line segment here. We've got a closed circle right there, but you notice we have an open circle right there. So that's going to kind of change what our inequalities look like. So if we wanted to plot these points right here, that's going to be negative 1 because there's our origin right there. So we've got an x of negative 2. Looks like that y is just negative 1. So negative 2, negative 1. And then this is 5, so that's 6, so that we've got an x of 6, and then that y is right on negative 5. All right, so you've got this line segment that's connected between uh, negative 2, negative 1, and then it goes down to 6, negative 5. How do we find the domain, which is the set of all possible independent variable values, and the range, the set of all possible dependent variable values? Well, let's look at first using inequalities. So these are going to look a little bit different. So what I'm going to do, there's many ways we can draw this, but I'm going to draw x right here. And I'm going to say x, I'm going to go left to right, because that's small to big. x is going to be greater than, right? So since I'm writing it right to left, it's going to look like a less than. But if you look at the x first and then read to the left, we'll say x is greater than, and then what's my smallest x value? Negative 2. Now, since it's an open circle, I'm going to leave it as just greater than because we are not including negative 2 in this domain set. And then we're going to write it to the, to the right here, and it's greater than or equal to. It's a closed circle, so I'm going to include 6 right there. So left to right, we're going from negative 2 to 6. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my range. Right? So I'm going to look from bottom to top x is greater than or equal to negative 5, this right here, and then it is greater than, what's my top? It's going to be that negative 1. We can also write these in words. 